What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be playing an entire playthrough of 1980X. Guys, this game finally just came out on the Nintendo Switch last week, but it is an older game. It did come out last year, I think sometime in the summer, on other consoles and, and on PC. But I've never heard of this game and literally until last week, maybe four or five days ago. I watched the trailer Nintendo released, it could have been a week ago, and I instantly fell in love. Like, it was, it was bizarre. It was very bizarre how fast I fell in love with this game. Um, instantly, it was the graphics, it was the music, and I got a little bit of the story in the trailer, and I just, I fell in love. I haven't felt like this for a game in a long time, and you guys will eventually, well, soon see why I'm obsessed with it. Now, I have played this a couple times already, and the first time I played it, oh man, oh man, I can't tell you how blown away I was just by the, the sheer awesomeness of everything, the gameplay, the graphics, the, the controls, and the music is gorgeous. The, the artwork is gorgeous. You guys are gonna see, but I love this game. Let's, let us begin. All right, so we're gonna start the game. Now when you do start the game for your first time, none of these levels or games are available. Um, you just start with the first one. We're gonna start with Beating Heart. I will be going through all the cut screens. I'm not skipping them, so you can watch them and get the full scope of the story. It's a beautiful story. My God, it's a beautiful story. It's a coming of age uh, story about, well, you know what? Let's find out. Oh yeah, the graphics and lighting in this game are just insanely good. And from what I've already experienced, it's super smooth, plays really well. Nice ambient music. It's reminiscent of old arcade games from the 80s and 90s. Hardcore boxing looking guy on the subway so if you guys don't know what this is about well you're gonna find out I didn't know what it was about at all until I played it or until I watched the trailer and then played it. I'm like oh man this story is wicked just look at look at the graphics yes it looks primitive but just it, it, it's beautiful that shot with the fist and the light and beating heart Love that title. Let's uh, insert a coin and press start, shall we? Copyright 1980X. Alright, so it looks like we start in the subway. Alright, let's let's get to it, shall we? So, it's a basic basically a side-scrolling fighting game. And very reminiscent of games like Final Fight. Ugh. And you know, just beat em ups. Every beat em up. You have a punch and you have a jump. That's it. And then you could also hit both buttons at the same time and not get hit like that. You can do that. You can do like the, the tornado kick. Just feeding knees to this guy. And that's that's basically all you can do. <laughs> So not too much, but whatever. It's a, it is a fighting beating beat 'em up game. So can't expect too much. Oh, money! Yeah, I love the combos. It looks so nice. Oh, this guy has uh, a bat. Can't wait to pick that sucker up. Oh, how dare you! Oh, how? Oh, man. Walk inside. He looks so hardcore, man. Okay, no messing around. We're we're in we're in this. It's hard to do commentary and play a game at the same time, though. This should be pretty easy since it's mindless button mashing. Uh, 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 stay down, blue hair guy. Oh, why? Oh, I thought I was gonna dodge that. All right, here we go. Just listen to this music, by the way. 
It is by far some of the, whoa, that time you showed up on screen. Like some of the best music I've ever heard in a video game. And yes, there was no prologue or anything. We just jumped into, whoa, just jumped into this fighting game. Ugh. Oh, oh, I tried to pick up the guy. It's too big. Oh. I think he throws like Belrog's punches. <laughs> Come on, punch me. Alright, I'll punch you back. Yeah, he looks very much like Belrog, those other guys. But this guy, he looks like Steve from Tekken or something. I actually love the way this guy looks with his shoes. So sick. Just breaking stuff. Ooh, money. Finding burgers underneath these uh, these barrels and pop and drinking them, you know. Come here, I'm gonna punch you. I'm gonna punch you. Oh, come on, punch. Yeah, see that Belrog's punch for sure. It's heavy forward. Oh, you know I'm gonna try to do the. Uh, yeah. There we go. You can't run in this, which uh, really sucks, but that's all right. <laughs> I love the way he looks. That's so ominous. Ugh. Oh yeah, nice guitar riff right there. Come here. <laughs> I love this, it just carries a knife. Oh, come on, not fair. Not fair at all. Especially you. What? Oh, come on. Yes, continue. Insert the quarter. There we go. Oh my god. Just getting. Just getting beat on. It is glitching for some reason a little bit. Alright, we're gonna fight out here so I know where you are. Oh! Oh! Come on! <laughs> He's so slow sometimes, though. That's it. Right. So, if you haven't played any kind of games like this, I don't know where you've been, but they are some of the funnest types of games ever, especially with multiple people! Yeah, I've played a lot of these games. Sega has a ton of them. Well, I mean, every every console has a ton of them, and they're just they're very popular these days. Are you wondering what is happening and why is this ninja guy on the about to like jump me or something? I can still this is me fighting still, and that's it. Just jump, jump away. Oh man. Okay. Well, and then that happens. It's like what happens? It's just hands into the beautiful starlight star night beautiful cityscapes here yeah like look at this it's stunning some of the best 8 bit 16 bit I've ever seen for sure High Bit Studios. It's a cool name for a company. <laughs> I love his shoes. He's basically, I think he's the character we just were. But in a fighting game, in a beat-em-up game. There I love I how like... Up in my room. Just like every other night. I love the... Counting tail lights on the 90s highway. 90s headphones with the orange. With the orange. Uh, Soon the cars below would reach the city. Orange but me. And I love his shoes. Here. I actually love his outfit. Stuck. In so this was a crowdfunded man. video game, which is really cool. I had I've never heard of it. I'm shocked I've never heard of this, because I would have definitely so I definitely supported it. <laughs> 
but sometimes extraordinary things will happen if you just let them. One intro to a game. I love it. And this is a wicked tune right here. Oh, this music. It gets me. Honestly, when I played this for the first time, I was, uh, I was almost in tears. Like, tears of happiness that this, something like this with this beautiful music came out. Finally. And then after I beat the game, I'm like, wow, this is a very interesting game. Really opens the doors for future installments, and you'll know exactly what I mean after this playthrough. But we've just played a, a level where, you know, it's a side-scroller beat him up. And this game's... Oh, oh, who is this? Maya Tuttle as the kid, or kid. I love that name. Yo, what's up, kid? But yes. We just played a beat em up. And this, uh, this game is about exploring and playing games that we've played... 20 years ago in the 80s in the 90s that's 40 years ago wow <laughs> whoops forgot there's 20 years between now and wow the 90s. yeah this this is this got me i love this welcome to suburbia just oh outside boy. the city, sometime in 1980X. What you see around here used to be all that I cared for. Because it was all that I knew. It was here that I'd met my first friends, rode my first bike, found my first love, and found out that nothing lasts forever. This is the place I grew up in and grew out of. A place I loved. Oh yeah. Favorite place on the planet. Pizza shop. I remember walking around these blocks for hours, just waiting for something to happen. I knew I needed to move forward. But every day felt like I was on a road to nowhere. The same office buildings and cheap restaurants, the grocery store, the laundromat, and the video rental place where dad used to take me on the weekends. Oh yeah. Remember He'd be videos. looking for classics. Well, I was more into superheroes. Dead. Oh man, we could go on forever. But then, we didn't go there anymore. It was no big deal. I love that tracking shot but with the fence. Oh, it's so nice. These days, I guess I was just looking for anything that could make my heart skip a beat again. And that was when I found it. <laughs> the thing that changed, that changed my life forever. Yeah, the these cut screens are also long before I was born. Quite long. But it had been shut down and abandoned for as long as I could remember. Mom used to tell me to stay away from there. But there was something down that pitch black alley that caught my eye. I want his jacket. It took so cool. all the guts I had to go down the stairs. 
the basement air was thick with cigarette smoke and 10,000 volts of energy. <laughs> and in the midst of this electric haze stood an army of high-tech creatures. Their huge <laughs> crystal clear screens flashing before my eyes. Oh yeah, baby. I'd seen video games before. Dad even brought home one black and white model when I was really young. But this was something else. Something you could not take home with you. And this place was definitely no hangout for children. In front of these machines stood some of the coolest uncool people I had ever seen. The coolest uncool were people. The freaks, geeks, the misfits, the outcasts, the real rebels. Part of something the outside world could not understand or even knew existed. These guys were all playing trance like, totally absorbed, as if they experienced something from another dimension. Maybe I could be one of them. Of course you can. You just got insert that coin, boy. All right. So, our character kid walks into an arcade, into an arcade that is just, you know, first off, it's way too late for him to be strolling around. I guess back back then it was fine. Nothing was really gonna happen to you. But he went into this basement uh, to an arcade. And now he's playing out of the void. Let's do it. Copyright 1980X. Okay, so this is a space shooter game. Very much like Gradius. Or at least it feels very much like Gradius. And you'll know why. So, oh, I already got hit, whoops. So I could charge up my weapon using the bar up top. And then I can release it and just blow things away. That's crazy. Boom, 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 whoa. Whoa, that was too close. I wonder if I got hit there. Okay, okay. Points. Gotta collect them points. Items. Alright. I don't know what shot is. I don't know if it's shooting faster or if it's a bigger bolt. I can't really tell. Alright. Mines. Space mines. Blow this shit up. And by shit, I mean shit. And then this guy. All right. Whoop. All right. It's so hard to focus on talking and playing games like this. You need 110% focus or else you're just gonna die. Ugh, get out of there, it's mine. Okay, I can shoot the, I can shoot the, the pink, the pink shots. Boom. Whoa, come on now. Unfair. Oh, seriously, wow. He already got me. Now, this is not a good run. This is not a good run. It's supposed to be a flawless run. At least we start here. Woo! Just gotta dodge him a little more, you know? Yeah. Oh, he got me good there. Ah, oh, he got me with one shot to spare. So, can you see why this is very much like Gradius? Because I'm getting... What, what's the equivalent in Gradius? Options. Basically have... 
I'm pretty like this. Is, oh my god, I drove into the ceiling. Amateur mistakes, everybody. Amateur mistakes. At least you know what? At least in this, you don't actually have to get the items again. The items stay on your ship or in Gradius. You have to actually go pick everything up again, and that is a pain. A big pain. No problem in this game. Get out of here. Woo! It's been so long since I played something like this. Actually, no, it's been since November. It's been like three months since I've played Gradius, so it hasn't been too long. Whoa! Whoa! There's no dodging or barrel rolls in this game. Sometimes, like, my... Whoa! My gunfire... That was close. Like, my gunfire... Uh... Confuses me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's hard to focus on this type of game here. What? That was sick, eh? Just blowing everything up. Give me another one up. Oh, I thought I could shoot the uh, the purple bullets, but apparently I can't. Wow, uh, I don't know if you saw that, but I was just dodging everything like crazy. Yeah, see, it looks looks like I was uh, looks like I was shooting those pink bullets there. I'm smoking though. Oh, why is that? I don't know. I got one hit left. Maybe two hits, but I think most likely one hit. Woo! Just gotta shoot it in the head, you know? Ugh, just charging up these shots. Whoa! Oh, no! Oh, I think I did it. I think I did it. Oh, it's a goner. Bingo. I'm just gonna keep shooting the heart, because why not? Of course it's a flying heart. Oh, we gotta get out of here. This is the Millennium Falcon. Escape the Death Star run. So sick. I'm shocked I didn't die there. Well, you can see I'm basically gonna die. And that's it. That's the end of that game. We're almost halfway through the game, everybody. It wouldn't be fair to say I didn't do my best in school. At least for a while, I really tried to make it work. I resonate now, with this kid. Walking those hallways with all those people. I wasn't really there. I was on an asteroid somewhere, fighting space invaders. Yes. But then there was her. <laughs> He's just looking at her down the hall. This punk rocker from the Southern District. <laughs> she was the wildest thing I'd ever seen. High school sweetheart. Oh man, that girl was born a rebel. I love how she's blowing Free bubbles. To go wherever she wanted to. She's driving Kit. She's driving Kit. I'm pretty sure that's Kit. Free in a way I could still only dream of. Hey Ryder. I love that look. The Runaway. All right, new game. Let's go. Let's get racing. This is a racing game. Very much like good old Rad Racer. I don't think that's enough lights flipped in the air. Here we go. All right. Now it's pretty casual driving game. There's nothing else you can really do. You just kind of drive. Now we do have a time limit. And that time limit fills back up when we hit the when we pass the the finish line, or every time we complete a wrap, uh, a wrap. Whoops, I'm hungry. Every time we finish a wrap, 
<laughs> a rap. Wow, a lap. Every time we finish a lap, food's on my mind. Uh, we get we get 30 seconds or so, or like a minute. Oh, it's all about that skid or letting go. Oh no, bad checkpoint. All right. I can let off the gas. <laughs> Don't forget to let off the gas around sharp turns. I'm literally just tapping the gas button at, during that turn. That's all I was doing. I don't suggest doing that when you drive. That's it, no weapons, nothing fancy. Like a really bad game. Like a really bad, but you know what? At least this game looks beautiful. For a uh, old, old 90s, 80s racing game. I love the way this looks. And I'm okay with the awesome red sports car. Looks awesome. Badass. Whoa! Almost got hit by those campers. And you gotta be careful. If you slow down, you can actually get hit by on or other traffic. And they'll they literally just drive right through you. There's no like an, like animation. Oh. Extra time. Cha-ching. Alright. Can't screw up anymore. I think yesterday, I uh, second lap, I had 18 seconds left. See? Uh-oh. Cars just drive right through you. I don't know. I might have to restart this, uh, restart this race here. I think when I finished the race in total, I had eight seconds. Uh, see how I just drove right through that car? Oh! Wow, I made it. I think I had like three seconds that time. Gave me a lot of time though. It's pretty chill. I like driving like this, this fast at night when there's no one on the road. Just me and my thoughts and the gas pedal and the steering wheel. Headlights. I started hanging out in the arcade almost every night. Whoa, hold on. Standing I don't have a booster, do I? No, I don't. Watching every move their fingers made. It's pretty awesome. Well, with epic music and purple thing. roads, I would drive all night to get to a city Another like that, life too. Was just one Even though I'm not a big city person. Down here, I found new worlds and new meaning. I could be whoever I wanted to be. Travel to outer space. That's true. Fantasy and fear. We are only one quarter away from living Just another life. Walk on the wild side of town. And experiencing different things. It's so nice. Look at the trees. Beat the rush of the highway. I'm digging it. I mean, this is not hard. I'm literally just driving past things. I don't have to hit anything. There's no goal except, I guess, to beat the time. <laughs> Beautiful. I drive all night to get to that place. And now, the Brippin guitar. Yeah, this is so awesome. Driving to the big city, going to play some video games, the arcade. Let me tell you, I would never drive this far to go play video games. Not anymore. Unless it's, you know, for a championship or something. That's a lie. I would go to like a barcade. Well, I mean, this is pretty far. I'm driving 255 kilometers an hour is this Canadian game kilometers you think it'd be miles 
I don't know who else would use kilometers. But it wasn't just about the escape. It was about transformation. Mm. Don't hit the cyclists. For every visit I made, every game it's a long I lap. covered, it, you know what? At least it looks beautiful. I mastered. The controls of the car, by the way, stronger. pretty decent. Like More perfect reaction. Some guys said I was nothing but a dreamer, completely out of touch with reality. But I don't know. Down here, I was free. I was in control. No one told me where to go or what to do. The only bad part about it was having to come back up to the real world. One second. And ran out of gas. <laughs> that's it that's that game so are you starting to understand what this game is really about it's about uh, playing old school games that are awesome I love this bedroom there's like me like Megatron on the wall and ACDC and Slash is that a silhouette of Slash bird in the window. Oh, the 90s. Old telephone. The tiles. Coffee maker. Oh, man. The, the art style looks so nice. Cables blown in the wind. I'd watch a movie of this for sure. And day slowly turns to night. That's when his true form emerges. Back when we were kids, life hmm. was so much easier. Treehouse. You could go from bug collector in the morning to bank robber before bedtime. I never had a treehouse. Anything was. Possible. I always wanted one. A buddy of mine did. A good friend from back uh, back home. He had then had one. And every time I would go over, I would brainwashed. try my hardest to be like, "Hey, let's go to your go in your brother's treehouse." People started seeing you the way they wanted to see you. Shout out to Jeff. Be the brain. Be the clown, be the troublemaker, be popular. People would find jacket. you in the most convenient way. And with Nintendo Switch, you can take your gaming then, experience in your treehouse. That's, you that's what I would do. Tree houses these days would, would like be super sick. say that when you grow up something inside you dies I'm still not sure if that's good or bad when you're a child shadows seem darker and lights seem brighter everything is more terrifying and more exciting at the same time the sun's getting low time to hit the arcade <laughs> uh, so awesome. All right. I wonder what we're doing next. Oh, yeah, baby. One of my favorite games on this on this game called Shadow Play. Copyright 1980X. All right. Finally, we get to play as a ninja. I love ninjas, so this game instantly took me. All right, so we have our slash attack. We can jump as well, and we can duck. And these orbs, uh, you'll start to see they fill up the bottom right blue bar. And the more orbs you have, 
the longer your your uh, sorry, the longer your sword is. And these guys throw shurikens. Oh, platforming. Oh. Oh, I can't, oh man. You gotta, I, I can't I can't take easy hits like this. Even even after playing yesterday, like this game is not easy. I just have to focus, you know? It's hard it's it's hard to commentary and play a game that requires extreme focus. And I could just like button mash all day. That doesn't help either. This makes you lose focus. But it's also the safest way to play. I actually forgot about those guys. Oh, jumped way too soon. Can't get health. Oh, I did it again. Force of habit. Woo. Woo. See how long my blade is? I love how you actually don't see the ninja, like, pull the sword out. Or anything. You don't actually see the sword besides the wave. What? That's so cool. Like, look how beautiful that background looks. Stunning. But, yeah, I know, it looks easy. And by the way, I'm not running. It auto-runs for you. So it's very much like Super Mario Run. If you've played Super Mario Run, you'll know what I mean. This game just really tests your platforming skills and your speedrunning skills. I love games like that, like this, because of that. It just puts everything you know to the test. By everything, I mean just your speed skills. <laughs> Especially when I play Super Mario. Like, I just... I like running through the levels. Whoa! Can't be taking hits like that! Woo! Oh, no. One more hit, and I'm a Ghana. Another ninja. What happened? Oh, he threw the star at me, didn't he? Oh, no. All right. Fine. Oh, bad start. Bad start. So yeah, when you die, you lose all of your blues energy. Your sword power. Which sucks. I love how you just walked in or ran into the spikes. Oh, no. Bad idea. Sometimes it's just like instinctual just to, to jump, you know? Gets close. Oh no, you don't. I love how far this slashes, yo. And what? Once you touch. Oh, oh, the spikes on the bottom. I didn't know. Yeah, that's where I died last time. It's the spikes on the bottom that I'm not supposed to touch. Whoopsies! I forgot that I could slide underneath, like, neck. Basically everything. You can slide under the stars, the skulls. Whoa. 
<laughs> yeah, I just love how there's no swinging animation. It's great. You know what? Sometimes it's not about graphics. And it's true. Like, this game's pretty good. Whoa. Not today. And Ninja. Oh, no. See? It's all about memorizing the course. All, the level is the exact same over and over again. As long as you can remember it, you're good. And this is where I died. Ha <laughs> ha, not today, buddy. Yeah, I'll pass. Pass on all that. I don't need that either. Oh, who's this? Is it boss time? I can't remember. Oh yeah, the weird segment of this game. What are these guards doing here? Yeah, this game is not, like, it's hard, but it's not hard. Like, just dodge all of the ninjas that are coming. That's all you really have to do. And the piranhas. Forgot that uh, ninjas are prone to uh, piranha enemies, type enemies. If you didn't know that, now you know. I love the mask that he has too, eh? Like the the white cat. I don't know what kind of mask that's called, but it's awesome. I love, yeah, and the blade wraps right around him, which is super cool. All right. I remember this level from yesterday. I remember it kicking my butt. <laughs> oh, whoops. You really have to focus. It's rough. The music in this level is amazing, by the way. Especially in particular parts. So good. I love that part. Gotta let go of the throttle a little bit. But I can't control it, so never mind. Whoa! Ah! Sounds so sad. Oh! Forgot. Forgot about that part, as you can tell. Woo! Spikes. Whoop! Charging up. Uh, it's not so bad when it's just like, okay, just memorize the course. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, no! Oh! Wow. Whoa! Wow, first run. That's good. That level took a uh, better half of 20 minutes to do last night. <laughs> I have no idea, like, uh, I almost died at the very end there with those spikes. That spot got me so many times. Yeah, I'll probably actually die here. Woo! All I have to do is survive this guy. No chance. No chance with this big extendo sword. Oh, no. Oh, jumped at the wrong, went down at the wrong time. Okay. Now what's up? Oh, no. Wow, I'm pretty sure I should have died there because I jumped. <laughs> Ah, uh, bummer. I would have died anyway. Full health or none. All right, so I gotta remember, I gotta jump. I gotta jump to the very top there because of those spikes. Yeah, that got me yesterday too. 
And his pattern is the same. So as long as you remember the pattern. <laughs> oh, yep. Forgot. Close. Middle. And then the middle. There it is. And now he goes away. And now we jump. And do ninja things. It's cool uh, looking enemy though. Whoa! That was close. Close. Oh shoot! Oh no! Wow. A, a, a plus me. Woo! Woo! Ah. Oh yeah, baby. We did it. Huh. Jump like a ninja. Into the black. Into the blackness. There it is. Well, that kind of startled me for a second there. That's the end of that game. That's too bad. Alright, so... That was probably the hardest so far of the, the three. I think we've played three games. I love this guy's room. I love the boombox and the record player, the skateboard. The Walkman. I used to love the weekends. That's all we had back then. Watching cartoons on early morning TV without yeah, a Yeah, you had the VHS. The world. Darts. You guys got it made. The whole family together. Free Desk to where you can do his art. We wanted to. Going for long rides in our car. Me falling asleep in the back seat. And getting carried to bed when we got home. Then this thing with dad happened. And now, I wasn't sure our family would ever be able to put the pieces back together. Love that shot. So cool. Shadows. Being home alone with mom. Watching her too fall apart. I couldn't stand it. I had to go somewhere. Anywhere. I just had to get out. I used to fantasize about the city. Vaguely planning my escape, but never actually getting on the train. Then he picked up smoking. Instead, I kept hanging around at the video store, seeking comfort in made up stories where I could pretend I, I was someone else. Just kidding. Mom would always tell me to quit dreaming and get back into the real world. I couldn't care less. That night at the arcade, everything changed. Usually does. All right, insert coin. What are we playing today, kid? Kill. Kill what? Kill screen. That's funny. That's a good name for a game. If you don't know what a kill screen is, it's the very last screen of a video game in the game code. You uh, when when a player gets so far and so many points to the point where the game itself is not coded to exceed that amount of points, and it just crashes. The game just crashes. There's a lot, a lot of like Atari, Atari and arcade games that have kill screens. And it just may, when you get to a kill screen, it just the screen goes all messed up. All right. Anyway, let's kill. Ki let's play kill screen. So it's like a RPG, which is cute. And we have four attack, slash, beam, hack, and heal. And we're gonna slash this guy. Boom. And you gotta find out the weakness. So I know that he's actually weak against slash attacks. So I'm gonna slash him again. And that box. 
just opens and closes. Just a kid. And you can tell, you can see that my HP is 63, 63 of 99. So I have to be weary of that. Oh. Okay, hack. See that? So I want to get it as little as possible. 34 damage. They're going to kill me if I don't heal up. I think they're still going to kill me anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, they healed up. Seriously? Or what'd they just do? Boom, 74. They won't kill me, but they'll do a lot of damage. Boom, now they're goners. Boom, level up. Do I level up? Ching, I sure do. Why are you here? To take on three dragons. You can see that I have to face three dragons. And here's one of them. So, first one. Boom, weak against slashing attacks. 41. Ugh. 17. 17. Wow, like, no way I could survive this guy. Oh, maybe. Oh, no, he got me. He got me. Yeah, this game is... <laughs> Tap to get up. This game is very grindy, so you can't expect to actually beat him, beat that first dragon on your first run. You really kind of have to do this over and over and just level up your guys. Like now we're doing, yeah, 78 damage. And we do hella damage at the end of the game when we reach like our max level. The highest level I got to was nine. So it's a lot, a lot of damages. What is it, 95? Okay, so one more enemy and I think, uh, one enemy and I think we level up again. This game's not bad. At first it was my least favorite, but I think it's, I think as I'm getting older, I'm appreciating RPGs more because the time it takes to play these games and I like, you know, thinking about how to play the game. It's very, XCOM got the best of me. And it has for a long time. Oh, one more enemy. Okay. That's great. It's a reference to Legend of Zelda 2. There's a character that says, you are error. But I don't know if I'd be able to play like a JRPG. I can't go that far, I think. Oh, 44. Okay, we can do this one more time and then we'll heal up. I love how they just like reach their arms out and slash. So funny. How dare you? We will hack you to pieces, Terminators. Level three, here we go. Dragon time. I think I killed the first dragon, like, oh, that's not good. At a very, uh, very high level. I think it was like level four or five when I killed the dragon. I should be able to kill him this time. Because when I played him yesterday, uh, I didn't know about the weakness thing. So, I should be able to take him out. No. Oh, maybe. Oh, 44. Okay. Yeah, see, we just have to get a little stronger, more HP. Because we can only afford to heal once. You are grounded. All right. And the mini map up top. I kind of remember where to go. It's the same map. And you basically... Actually, there's a couple other monsters. I was going to say you've basically seen all the monsters, but I forgot there's there's a few. There's a few more. A couple more of these pods, and we'll, we'll level up. I think we'll level up after this pod right here. And by pod, I mean pod of enemies. Again, XCOM. Let's uh, heal up just in case. Our heals restore every time we fight. I don't know what they're doing. 
Minus 24 HP, so really bad attack. And we'll get him right here. Boom! Zap. There we go. Level up. More. More guys to hack. It's cool that they all have a weakness. It's like Pokemon for adults. I'm just kidding. I play Pokemon and I, I'm an adult. For the most part, cannot compile. But I do like the whole weakness thing. It's very cool. Scratch, 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 scratch. And hack, 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 hack. So we'll get one slash in before we have to heal. So I don't think we're going to be able to take him out. We just have to get do a little bit more damage. Yeah, we have three attacks left before he takes us out. Or in this case now, two more. Because that one deals so much damage. Yeah, we're done. Dunzo! The grind. Yeah, so maybe maybe I, you do kill the dragon at like level five, I guess. Every time. And yes, this dragon is weak against slashing. He, that's his weakness. That's why you haven't seen me use the beam yet. I know, like, the beam works on, I think, two creatures. No, we I don't think we level up yet. Oh, we did. Okay. I think we need to level up one more time before we can kill this dragon. All right, you know, it really depends how the fights go, the fight beforehand goes. We, ca we can't really afford to take any damage. So my rolls and attacks have to be a lot better than they have been. Wow, no, none in, oh, okay, I was gonna say, not a single enemy, eh? 97 damage. The box is getting smaller. Oh, 83. Still goners. I know best. Okay, dragon. Let's try this shindig again, shall we? Yeah, he still got me. I can't I can't kill him this time. Actually, I might be able to do it. I should be able to kill him now. No. That's too bad. Oh well. Looks like we do it one more time for 30 experience points. Dory, it's not that grindy. Once we kill the first dragon, uh, we are pretty much, like, like I said, I got to level nine yesterday. Um, okay, I was gonna say, where are all the bad guys? This is gonna level us up. Or at least I think it will, it should level us up. Level six, baby. All right, here we go. We should be able to take him out now. Ugh. He's not, not really interested. Oh, wow, one shot. Not really interested in seeing that guy. Do your homework. Ugh, you're, you're getting it, Drago. Oh, 68 again. Ooh. I'm gonna heal. I don't know if I can take, uh, it was 42 damage. I could have taken one more hit. That may have actually cost me. Oh, you're gonna dragon number one. No friends. This is like Friday the 13th and or really bad arcade games. Oh, and that leveled us up, too. That's good. Okay, we're off to dragon number two. Get out of here. 105 damage. 
You ain't got nothing on me now. 600. So the, those guys, what, gave me 35 experience points? Not bad. All right. I love the I love the color of the wall. You know, it's very vibrant and black. No, I'm just, all jerks aside, I love the uh, I love the uh, <laughs> the 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 line work and stuff. Boom! There's the beam. I forgot about that guy. Oh, dragon number two. Who is weak against hacking? Pretty sure it's ha he's weak against hacking. Ugh. Should be able to take him out. Oh no! I died. Yeah, I bet I could have uh, taken him out if I didn't miss that attack. Dang, that sucks. Oh well. Almost done. We're almost at the dragon again. <laughs> You're like, where are you going? How do you know this? Oh. Uh, I can't remember what you're weak against. Sounds about right. Everything is weak against uh, hacking in this game. Ouch. Wow. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, I should have healed there. No. Wow, that leveled us up. Excellent. All right, as long as we do like 75 damage to him, we're at full health, we should be able to kill him. 77. 36, let's heal up. There it is. Yo, Agana. He is alone. And then keep going this way. And level up. 85 it, more HP. So, what, two pods? Two and a half pods? Gonna. 805, two. So, yeah, 35 XP. So, yeah, yeah, two more pods. Ho ho. Gonna zap you with lightning. Blue type. Help, help, help. Um, I think you're this way. Uh oh. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see, I got to level 9 yesterday. I could probably kill the dragon. We're gonna level up here. Or no, we're not. Oh, whoa, we already. Oh, we did already level up. Oh, fun. Zap. 39, I'm gonna heal up. I wonder if this guy would level us up. I can't remember how much XP he grants. Uh, yikes. Boom. Explosion, your heart. And dragon time. That's cheap. Yeah, he definitely killed me here. Yeah, I don't have any more potions. Oh, 81. Oh! Boom! Wow, level nine. 
Wow, another level 9 kill. That's sweet. And that was basically a kill screen, what you just saw there. Oh, yeah, this part. Spider-Man. Just kidding. Very cool enemy. I would probably play this game if I can do more than just hack, slash, and heal. And, and, beam. Telling me to be still, I'm gonna slash you again for zero HP. Why are you sorry? Don't be sorry. Oh, he's denied. He's not happy. Not happy at all. He's getting rid of my attacks. Wait, 1 HP? I don't remember seeing 1 HP. Thought it was all zero. Oh. You never listen. I love how, like, the the, uh, the gray cables are going into the ground and, like, leaving a blue trail of energy light beam or whatever. Looks pretty cool. Pretty interesting boss. If you could even call this or consider this a boss. Because you don't really have to do anything. It just kind of sucks up your energy which I just noticed right now very oh. Terminator like alright that was the last that was the last game in 1980x now we have one more little cut screen And we'll finish off the story. Ooh. I'm digging this. What happened that night? Yep. I honestly couldn't say. I was still there. But I don't know which game. Which same. game was my favorite? That last one was interesting. Huh. Push button to get up. Just tap it. <laughs> oh, the guy beat the hell out of him. Oh, love the ninja. Oh. Race car. Spaceship. The game was not over. It was just beginning. Well, that's it. That is 1980X, everybody. 1980X. Awesome game. I highly, highly enjoyed it. It's quick. To be continued. So, Hybit, I guess, has decided to release these games in in um, chapters, I, I guess you can call it. So, hopefully they release another game that's, you know, this just as short as this one. Uh, but a continuation of the story, that'd be awesome. Would be cool if there was like a 1990X or a 1970X or 2077 or 2070X, I guess. Not 2077. Cyberpunk can't wait. Um, delayed. But uh, yeah, that's it, guys. That was 1980X. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, it was a lot easier that round than the first and second time I played it. And I suspect that I'm just going to get better and better. And we finished it in, what, one hour on the dot? Basically, it's pretty awesome. So that is a record for me. So so the story, let's get into it. Completely forgot to, you know, let talk about it. So let's talk about it. So it's about the kid. And he's living a, from what it sounds like, a life that he's not happy about. Or he's just bored of. Um, well, that's what happens when you are not a gamer and you don't have any hobbies. I guess you just get bored. I don't know. 
Anyway, taking her, he's taking a stroll at night where he probably shouldn't be. And he comes across the rest of his life, his future, the future of video games, and the stories that you can live within them, which is the best part of a game, right? People, when a lot of people, not a lot, but when people say, why do you play games? It's, it's about living that, that life that you can never have, you know, and living experiences. They're not real, but games these days, they look pretty darn real and I have quite the imagination. So I don't, uh, so it's, it's nice to, you know, be able to live another life as a superhero or a super soldier or whatever monster, have a spaceship, pilot, astronaut, whatever it may be, race car driver. I love games. Games are awesome, and this game really resonated with me because I grew up with a lot of these game styles that we played today. I love the 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 fighting one, the beat 'em up, probably my favorite one of the batch. I also love the ninja one. I also love the last RPG one. I love the spaceship one where it's basically Gradius, um, and then the final, and then the the racing game, which is all right, but my least favorite. But not saying that it's bad. But it was my least favorite. Uh, but all of them were really good. And I really enjoyed... Um, I really enjoyed each one of them. I enjoyed the way the story ended. And how... You know, it just... It, just, it got me from, from the get-go. And I want to know more. I want to know more about, you know... This girl that I guess he has a crush on. I want to know why at the very beginning we were playing... The, as the kid. Or what it seems like. As the kid. But in hardcore... You know, he was super hardcore, like big and bulky. I want to know if that was like real life or if that was an arcade game. Because it kind of just panned away. It didn't like the screen didn't turn off like the other games. So who knows? Maybe we'll find out the rest in 1980X Part 2. Thank you guys again for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, and don't subscribe. Don't subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this and other stuff. Thanks again for watching. Catch me in the next one.